Today I'm going to show you an advanced POS order system script created by Group Development, which enhances restaurant systems and RP. Customers can place orders for dine-in or pickup and have access to a receipt with all information for proof of purchase. Employees get a page or notification for each new order, which also shows up on the tablet. They can then craft items using a section in the tablet or an external menu. Employees can also do deliveries for a change of pace. Another cool feature is the management section. Bosses can easily withdraw and deposit money with transaction records showing that and sales. They can also add products or food items easily from the tablet in game. Use the resource link to check out all the features and watch a preview. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource so you can see pictures, previews, the description, and a list of features. If it wants you to purchase, go to the CFX portal into the assets section, then find G Order System and download it. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources and add it in. You go to your server config and ensure it. The next step is adding the items and images. Let's go back to the G order folder into the install folder and we'll start with the images. So copy them both, then follow the path for your inventory using QB inventory. So it'll be in there, HTML and then images. Then go back to the G order install folder again into the item section and choose between QB or aux. So copy these. Go back into the QB folder, into QB core, and then into the shared folder and open the item section. The next thing to look at are the configuration options. So go back to the order system folder. Into the SRC folder. Into the shared folder and we'll start with the main config. The first two options in here are checking for updates and automatically importing the SQL. That's followed by options for the language, debug, theme, and interact system for opening the menu. What's supported is in the commented out text, so change it if you wish. Next are the text UI, notification, and progress bar options, followed by the settings for the POS system. You can enable or disable clicking sounds, set the max amount per item, change the currency, time format, tax percentage, maximum edit price, and total tables. Below that you have the tablet and receipt names, which don't need to be changed, and the money type for depositing and withdrawing within the system. And there's an option to use a 3D effect for the tablet and a distance check for nearby players. Next is an option to enable pager notifications and options for how you want crafting to be. If enabled, it can be done in an external menu or internally, which is on the tablet. Next are options for the jobs. You can use the built-in society system or have it use your frameworks. That's followed by commission options. You can enable or disable and choose the money type. And the last thing for this section is an option for the self-ordering system. Next for the order system setup, so there's one made for Cat Cafe and a template below to create more. For each section, you have the job name, label, and grades for the product page management page, and crafting page, followed by the crafting location, player commission, and the order system location. I will show you the setup for this later in the video. The next file to look at is the POS crafting items. In here, you have all the craftable items with the item name, label, image, ingredients needed to make them, crafting time, the max you can make, what category the item is in, and the jobs that can make them. So I'll scroll down to the bottom to add some examples. And for that, I'll be using the Lucky Plucker. So I'll copy Sprunk and paste it again as a template. And the first item I'll add is chicken strips. So I keep filling it out. For the ingredients, I'm going to do two items, chicken breast and flour. So I'll copy this for another ingredients section. So we'll do, I'll leave them at one of each. And for the category, I'll do lunch. And then add the lucky plucker job to the job section. And I'll do one more, a drink this time. Uh, let's see, lemonade. And then keep filling out the information. 
And then for the ingredients, I'll do ice and lemons. I'm going to add another ingredient actually being sugar. And for the category, I'll do uh, beverages. All right. The next file to look at is the config jobs. The options at the top here are for the orders. Each has commented out text that explains what they are, so be sure to go through and read them. The next section is for the job delivery vehicles. There's one set up here for Cat Cafe that can be used as a template. I'll show another setup example for this later in the video. And the last two sections in here are for the delivery locations and the pet or NPC models. The next file to look at is the config POS items. The first section in here is for the category icons. You can add more following the format. Then there's a section for the available products. One of the features allows restaurant management to add, edit, or delete products in game through the tablet. They are in numerical order. For each, you have the item name, label, image, jobs that can add the product, and the category the product is in. So add the items from before to the list. And I'm also going to add the plucker job to the list so I can use one of the existing items. And I'll just choose muffin. I have the same example. Right, so I'll copy the pancakes. Change this to 20. And then put the chicken strips. The last file is the server config. You can add a webhook in there if you wish. I'll move on to setting up the order system and delivery options in game. If this video was helpful, consider supporting my work by ordering a VPS or transferring your current one of one of one service using the link below. Created by the team behind Project Soft, one of one service is a top VPS provider for popular 5M servers delivering unmatched uptime and performance. They offer the best DDoS protection, super fast 10 gigabit per second internet speed, and exceptional support via Discord and tickets with 96% of tickets answered in under 30 minutes. With locations in Dallas, Ashburn, Chicago, and Europe, they ensure low latency and top tier reliability. All right, so I'll start by copying the section for the Cat Cafe and pasting it again and start renaming the information. The job name goes here. Then choose the grades for each section. I only have zero and one. Then go in game and choose the kitchen cores if you have crafting enabled. So let's put it back here. Then you can choose the percentage of sale that goes to the player and then add a location for the self ordering. I'll just put that in the front. Just right here is fine. In the config jobs for the delivery section, I'll do the same thing. And start renaming. Then I go in and choose the spawn for the pad. Just put it over here. I leave the vehicle model the same, but you can look up another code to put there. And I'll choose where it spawns. Put it over here. And then choose where to return it. I'll put it in this spot. And then you can change the pad and the plates. I'll just put lucky P. When you open the tab with their tabs on the left, the first one is a dashboard with products and order details. So you can fill this out. Then there are the orders and the stages they're in, followed by product management, regular management, and the settings. 
So I'll start by here, uh, entering the shop name. And then of course you can put a phone number and a logo. I'm just going to save this for now. Go back up to management. You can track the earnings, uh, the product sales, how many customers you have, and then of course deposit or withdraw. So I'll just do 1000. All right. And it lets you know there's a deposit, the date and the amount. Go back up to products. As I mentioned before, people with the management positions or boss grade can add products. And there is a drop down here. Again, these are the ones added uh, with the job. Uh, so let's choose the muffin, put it in desserts. Do you want to do the price? The image is already there. Oh. there go. Then add the product. There it is there. And I'll add the other two as well. So the chicken strips and lemonade. I'll do 500. Oh. Do lunch. And then the beverage. And then if it's not the category you uh, set it up as, it's going to do that. So we'll do beverages for that. Once you add them, you can see the name and the image, the categories in, how much it costs, the status, and options to edit or delete them. So if you edit, you can make the status you know, not available, change the price, we'll do 200, update, and I'll make it available again just so they can be bought. After the products are added in the tablet, customers can then order with the ordering system. In here, they're filtered by the type. So there's all desserts, lunch, and beverages. So I'll just choose uh, one chicken strip and one lemonade. And as you choose, the amount goes up and so does the total items. If you click continue, it takes you to the cart where you can reset the cart, delete everything, or add and remove items there. And of course, the price and whatnot adjusts. So you proceed to payment. It has the restaurant name and all the details. So the description of what you bought, which is one chicken strip, one lemonade, and the price. Then you can choose to dine in or pick up. I'll choose dine in. Then they can select a payment method, cash or bank, and it tells you the total, the tax, and the total amount. And then they can pay. Let you know the payment was successful and the employees get a pager or notification alert if you have that enabled. The customers also get a receipt. On the receipt, it has the date and time, the order ID, whether it's paid or not, and the restaurant information. So the name, address, and telephone number, which I didn't put. And then like a regular receipt, it has a description of the items and the price. From the employee's point of view, if you go into the tablet and go to the order section, you'll see the one I just put in with the customer's name, the status, if it's dine-in or pickup, the date, the table, and a description of the items. And then after you craft it, you can move it to ready to serve or cancel it. It also lets you know it was paid. In the management section, you can also see proof of the sales. There are a few here, but the one I did is there as well. So I'll go over and start crafting the items. If you chose not to use the built-in option, it'll be the external menu here. It has all the products you can search through. And if you click the drop down for each, it'll tell you the time to craft, the max you can craft, the required ingredients, and it tells you the amount you have. So I need one, I have nine, and it'll be green. Then you can use the arrows to choose the amount. And then craft. And then for each, it also tells you the name and the category it's in. If you chose to use the built-in option, go to the tablet and go to the cooking station tab. And it has the same you can filter through. And then click on each of the food items and it'll tell you the ingredients. So I'll make one lemonade and an order of chicken strips. It puts them into the queue and then once they're done, you can collect them and then go back to the orders and change the status to ready to serve. And then they'll appear here. Another feature is the option for food deliveries. Be sure to have this enabled in the config. It'll say enable POS job. Then go to the jobs tab in the tablet and you can choose one that's here or click start job to start searching. Let you know you're available for delivery and then two pop up. They have the order number and the person's name. The location, date, what they want. So I'll choose this one here. So accept the order. They want three muffins and a lemonade. So I'll go ahead and make that. All right. So I have the ingredients to go to the cooking station, make the one lemonade, and then make the three muffins. I collect it once it's done. And then collect this as well. And the waypoint was set when you accept the order. So I'll go ahead and grab the delivery vehicle.
it and it will deliver the items. Okay, hey, let you know the order was complete and that payment was received. I do have commission on. All right, so go ahead and return the vehicle back. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.